Today, I'd like to introduce you to our new product, the SU-17 Research Edition Drone. The SU-17 Research Edition Drone is an open-source UAV specially designed for scientific research users. Within our open-source autonomous drone system, Prometheus, developers can access a wide range of feature demos, such as Eagle Swarm path planning and obstacle avoidance, 3D environment mapping, simulation functions, and more. At the same time, the SU-17 supports 3D LiDAR and quad vision-based mapping and positioning. It can still achieve autonomous flight and real-time obstacle avoidance, even in complex environments such as GPS-denied areas, low-light conditions, and narrow spaces. What's more, as an open-source drone, the SU-17 features highly integrated hardware incorporating the flight control system, image transmission, servo driver board, and onboard computer, all of which greatly improve flight stability and reliability. Today we've prepared two scenarios, a nearby stone array and a dense forest. By using the 3D LiDAR for mapping and positioning, as well as path planning, we aim to achieve obstacle avoidance and point-to-point -point flight. Through these two small experiments, we hope to give you a clear demonstration of the SUSH-17 Research Edition drone's environmental perception, planning, and control capabilities in different settings. We are currently in a stonery where we'll conduct a point-to-point -point flight with the SU-17. This type of open environment is a relatively common use case for such flights. The SU-17 Research Edition drone uses LiDAR SLAM for localization, builds a 3D map of the surroundings, and autonomously plans its flight path. We place the SU-17 at the starting point outside the stone array, set a waypoint between the stone structures, and place the final target point within the array. All right, the drone takes off and enters off-board mode. It flies toward the first waypoint and detects a stone pillar ahead, then begins planning a route to avoid the obstacle. Now, the SU-17 flies through the gap between the pillars and successfully reaches the first waypoint. After reaching the first waypoint, it starts planning for the second target point. Once planning is complete, the SU-17 begins its autonomous flight to the target. It detects another stone pillar and begins planning a path to avoid it. The SU-17 chooses to fly around the right side of the pillar. Great! The SU-17 has once again successfully reached the destination. This test shows that, in GPS-denied environments, the SU-17 can still rely on 3D LiDAR for mapping, localization, and path planning, enabling precise obstacle avoidance and stable navigation. Next, we head into a dense forest. The forest is characterized by complex lighting conditions, weak GPS signals, and dense, irregular obstacles. We will continue to use LiDAR for mapping, localization, and route planning for this flight test. We've actually tested this scenario before, though at the time we used quadvision-based positioning. We placed the SU-17 at the starting point outside the forest and set a target point deep within. The drone takes off, and we switch to off-board mode via the remote controller. Right in front of the drone are two trees with thin branchy structures and no leaves. From the ground station, we can see that the 3D LiDAR is accurately scanning and identifying these fine, densely packed obstacles. The drone begins planning a route through a lower space between the two trees. Perfect, the SU-17 flies smoothly through the trees. Now flying deeper into the forest, the drone encounters a variety of obstacles with different heights and shapes, such as trunks, bushes, branches, and uneven ground vegetation. The drone must scan the environment, map it, and plan a path to the target point. As we can see, the drone successfully avoids the obstacles and flies stably to the target point. Okay, that wraps up our two scenario tests for today. From these tests, we can see the SU-17's ability to fly stably in complex environments using 3D LiDAR. If you're interested in the SU-17, feel free to get in touch with us.